Um, wow. Yeah, let's just say AMD is ready to shake up yet another industry. This time, it's the mobile one. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. Well, it's been a few days since my last video, and that's because I've been working on one really hard. And... I had to scrap it. I just didn't like its direction, and I wasn't sure how I felt about the prediction I was making given some new data. I was actually close to done, but I don't want to do something that I'm doubting. With that said, there's some pretty huge news to discuss today. AMD just announced their newest APUs, the chip specifically designed to make their way into the mobile market, like laptops and 2-in-1s. And the leaks seem to have been quite accurate. Actually, those leaks were a really conservative look at how good these new chips are. So let's go over them. For one, the leaked names were correct. Two chips are being released at the moment, the Ryzen 5 2500U and the Ryzen 7 2700U. Both are 4 core 8 thread CPUs with the Ryzen 5 2500U having 8 Vega compute units and a base clock of 2 GHz with a boost of 3.6. And the Ryzen 7 2700U has 10 Vega compute units with a base clock at 2.2 GHz and a boost of 3.8. As for TDP, they're not the 35 watts like some had originally thought. No, they're 15. That doesn't sound that special given Intel's mobile chips are at a base TDP of 15 watts as well, but I'll get to why it is in a minute. First, let's go over some benchmarks. Unfortunately, these are coming straight from AMD, so until we have third-party reviews, we won't really be able to see the full picture, as these are always pretty well cherry-picked. But regardless, they paint a very scary picture for Intel. Using AMD's old FX9800P for reference, it compares the Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5 mobile chips to Intel's newest Core i7-8700U. And Ryzen 7 stomps Intel's best by quite a bit, and all except for Passmark 9 where it does lose. The interesting part is that the Ryzen 5 2500U even beats Intel's newest i7 mobile chip in all but Passmark 9. Now, what's absolutely incredible is that they went as far as to compare the Ryzen 7 2700U's 15 watt mobile chip to Intel's i5-7600K 90 watt desktop CPU, and it beats it in Cinebench 15. Yes, Intel has released new chips since then, adding two cores to the i5 line, and I highly doubt that these have been overclocked in any way, but we're still talking about a 15 watt mobile CPU. That's impressive to say the least, but it's not even over. In fact, I'm just now getting to the best part. AMD's integrated GPU in the 2700U completely annihilates Intel's UHD 620 in the i7-8550U. In fact, you can see it actually has well over twice and even nearing three times the performance. And this is where the impressive 15 watts comes in. Getting similar performance out of Intel's mobile chip requires a dedicated GPU from NVIDIA called the MX150, which adds a whopping 25 watt TDP, equaling a total TDP of 40 watts. Yeah, that's a whole lot more power drain for just a little difference in performance. And AMD's CEO stated that they'll actually be hitting shelves in laptop form within the next couple weeks. One thing that Intel does have AMD beat ever so slightly in is its single core performance. With that said, thanks to the far superior integrated GPU, AMD's chip will definitely be the better choice for gaming, as long as you're not using a really powerful dedicated GPU. Still, a higher single core count will more than likely mean Intel's CPU can open apps slightly faster, and simply feel a little zippier in day-to-day -day use, which explains why AMD's slide for opening apps doesn't compare to Intel. But the simple fact is that if you're planning on using any kind of professional applications or something like gaming off the integrated chip, AMD will almost certainly be the go-to chip. Now what does all this mean? Well, AMD is seriously killing it, and while Vega was more or less a disappointment, clearly it works well in the mobile market. And don't forget that Intel's chips that are being compared here were just released, and that's with the double core count. So I don't see Intel being capable of immediately releasing a new competing chip like they did with their Enthusiast line. But the question is, what do you think of AMD's newest mobile APUs? Are you as impressed as I am, or am I getting a little bit too excited? 
let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to check out the Gamer Bell Discord server for some great hardware conversations down in the description below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.